Hello, this is Victor and in the next video I will share with you how to do an antenna like this one. So you see, some ca sometimes when we have a vehicle or tank we have to do an antenna and in that case for example they were broken because I bought it in second hand so I will do my own antennas to be put here. To do that you only need a piece of estuarine and I will use matches. So the way to proceed is I put fire on the match and I soften the estuarine and then you just pull 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 soft very slowly, very slowly. Now you can do when you see that there is some traction, and now when you notice some traction, you keep it like that for a while just to be sure that it keeps the, the shape. And now we have an antenna here, so you can. Now take a cutting tool, cutting tool, and then you can cut the part of the antenna that you like it. Cut it, for example, here at the bottom, and here at the top, and then you have your antenna. Okay, you can uh, this way is thick. You can make them much thinner. So I will just repeat to share with you. I will do it a second time. So you do fire. I take this portion here, here in the middle. Soften and now just you can pull very fast. If you pull very fast, you will have a very thin antenna. And now it's completely you hold it, and you have to keep holding sometimes. Here you have the antenna. This is much thinner than the previous one. So now I can cut, for example, here. I can cut here at the top. And I have a very nice flexible antenna. If you see that this is have this shape, then with the knife With the knife, it was just, and this is a very nice antenna that now I can place on the thumb. Here you see, you can try, it's very cheap. Oops. You can do very different thicknesses with that method. Here you see the other one that I did. So I will take some of them to make antennas for my tanks. See, you can make it thick like that. You can make thing thinner like that, and then depending how fast you pull, it's a question of practice. Size, depending how fast you pull, and and how much, um, how far you pull, you will have thinner or longer antennas. 
So that's all what I want to share in that video. I hope you find it useful. Second, if it's shaking a little bit. And I will use this antenna for the work I'm doing on this um, Razorback. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Please leave your comments. And see you again later. Bye!